Nice. Oh. Look at you. How can you expect to write for a fashion magazine when you dress like a fashion victim? Because I really like words and pants. Nice. <sighs> what a refreshing morning. How are you doing? I didn't expect the Phantom Thieves would suppress a man that even the police had trouble with. The fact they have so much support online is worrisome. I'm in a bind since I previously denounced them. All the interviews these days ask me about that. Still, can we really say the Phantom Thieves are on the side of justice with just this example? I was originally investigating the mental shutdown incidents. People change suddenly and cause strange accidents or horrible crimes. Don't you think it's similar to the change of heart that the Phantom Thieves are doing? Hmm. Now that I think about it, their actions mirror the mental shutdown cases with the rate of victims. It's impossible not to see a connection there. Ah, sorry. I don't want to make you late. I'll see you again. Okay, let's get started.
How about you? This is it. That's right. Nice going! Hey, are you listening? Pay attention!
Excuse me. Pleasant surprise. Are you headed home too? Same here. I don't have club practice today. That reminds me. There's something I wanted to report to you. Would now be a good time? Thank you. Why don't we find a seat somewhere? Huh? And you are... It's been quite a while, Akechi-san. And the same for you. Yoshizawa-san, right? My father works at a TV station. Have you ever seen Good Morning Japan? My father's the director. I've been brought onto the show as a guest a number of times now. That's how I ended up becoming acquainted with Yoshizawa-san. I didn't know you knew her as well. He helped me out of a jam before, and now he's been offering me guidance. Helped you out of a jam, huh? I see. So, what were you two up to? Oh, right! I was just about to share some exciting news. It's nothing to keep secret, so I may as well spill it now. About that summer competition I mentioned to you before, I was chosen to be our club representative. This only feels like the beginning to me, though. Isn't your club's team considered to be quite prestigious? And you're their representative. I must say, that's extremely impressive. Thank you. I'll do my best to make everyone proud. I'll be cheering you on as well. Ah, I have an idea. Since all three of us are here, why don't we go somewhere as a group? We can call it our little celebration for Yoshizawa-san's success. That would be wonderful! Does that work for you, Senpai? That settles it. Would you mind if I chose the place? There's a wonderful little cafe I know about. Of course. Lead the way. Yoshizawa-san? You drink hot beverages even in the summer? I have to prevent my body from getting too cold, since the meat's coming up rather soon. I see. You make sure you're covering all your bases. Good point. Well, some people say coffee can cool you off, even when hot, so I try to avoid that, too. I had this image that you enjoy sweet things, Akechi-san. Is that untrue? I swear I saw you eating fried sweetbread on TV just the other day. It's all part of a marketing strategy. That sort of stunt is an easy crowd-pleaser. You seem to have your own bases covered as well. Presenting oneself in a favorable light is nothing surprising. More surprising is just how innocent you seem to be. I've been wondering, how do you two know each other? His social studies class visited the set of a TV show I appeared on. Ah, that's right. Second years got to go to a TV station. He and I exchanged our opinions during the shoot, and his way of thinking intrigued me. I can definitely see that. Senpai's take on things often helps me as well. That reminds me, Yoshizawa-san. You had mentioned that he's been providing you with some guidance. Yes. Like you just said, 
His way of thinking is intriguing. I figured I could benefit from his input. In that case, let's play a little game. Would you mind if I pose the same question to you that I first asked him? No, go right ahead. So, my question was, what do you think of the Phantom Thieves, Yoshizawa-san? The Phantom Thieves? You mean in the case that they do in fact exist, yes? I admit that the assistance of others in need is a truly great act, but I simply can't agree with their methods. I see. Care to explain why? I suspect the Phantom Thieves' existence isn't going to be beneficial to society in the long run. How so? Well, for example, when someone's faced with a problem to overcome, I believe they need to do it themselves. Getting help from others is totally fine, but in the end, it takes a person's initiative to truly create lasting change. If society relied upon a safety net like the Phantom Thieves, I worry that people would stop making a conscious effort. Granted, this depends on how severe the problem is, and it's inaccurate to apply generalizations to an entire population. But I believe a society where everyone simply leaves matters to the Phantom Thieves wouldn't last for very long. I see. So, in the sense of a person's growth, their actions actually hinder it. Quite an interesting take on the matter. Let me ask you then, what do you think of Yoshizawa-san's opinion? I have to agree. It was quite inspiring for myself as well. Wait, could you actually be a fan of the Phantom Thieves, Senpai? <laughs> I didn't mean to start an argument. I just can't help myself sometimes. Let's change the subject to something a bit lighter. I'm sorry, I should probably get going. If I'm away from home too late, my parents will begin to worry. Right. Then let's call it a day. Good luck on your competition. Yes, thank you. Well then, see you later. Ah, you're back. That's not it.
let's get back. My hope rests with the Phantom Thieves. Quiet down. Do you know the answer? This is it. Correct.
It's open. Welcome. Excuse me. It was nothing. Hey, so... Quite. Hey. 
Thank you. Yes.
could this be? Let us return home. See you. back.
Shit. Damn it. Ha, <laughs> Well then. All right. Yo. Come on, man.
Now everyone. Let's get started. are gonna kill me. There was so much stuff on that exam. I didn't have time to study everything. I probably could have managed if I had an extra week, too. An extra week, huh? The only people who get that kind of cushy treatment are the honor students. Oh, you mean that Yoshizawa-san? I heard the school moved her exam period. It must be nice getting perks like that. Hey there. Congrats on surviving finals. Today was the last day, right? 
Say, would you happen to have some free time right now? There's something I'd like to discuss. I promise it'll just take a moment. Thanks. I know you're exhausted, so I'll make this quick. It sure has heated up now that the rainy season's passed. I just know my electric bill is going to start climbing this month. Anyway, as I'd mentioned, there's something I'd like your opinion on. Well, I suppose that's actually accurate. I've had something on my mind lately, and I want to hear your take on it. Okay, here goes. Oh, this is all hypothetical, mind you, but... Imagine there's somebody for whom you have high expectations. They're trying their absolute hardest to meet those expectations. Now, this person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities. So, what do you think those people will do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met? That's right. When you work as a counselor, you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break. But that's easier said than done. This world really is a callous one. No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. Oh, I'm not sick of this job or anything like that. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get all analytical. What I meant was, if we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need a fundamental solution. Hmm, nothing really comes to mind at the moment. This is just a thought, but what if we got the Phantom Thieves to change our hearts? Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive. <laughs> Good point. You're right. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my work. Our conversation's been very enlightening. Thank you, and enjoy your vacation. Exams are finally over. Uh, I'm so exhausted. Uh. I can get back to actually sleeping in peace. Hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it kept you up at night. Nah, I was up playing video games. Slacking off is just too much fun. I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. I might even be too clean now. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. <sighs> and I can only imagine what the end result will be. Whatever! It's over with now! Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the Phantom Thieves' popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? Kinda feels like our time's finally here. I have even heard people excitedly speculating about our next target. We will have to choose carefully. There's no need to hurry. We should spend some time thinking it over. Hold up! The most important thing now is our celebration party. I hope you guys didn't forget. It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. I guess we're good meeting up in Shibuya, yeah? Let's say 5 p.m. We sure are on top of these kinds of things. Now for the weather. Ah. 
searching all along. Don't face it while I'm on. Okay. Let's go to bed. Let's do it. <laughs>